Hi, my name is Jasmine Kilcrease. I'm 21 and I'm from Jacksonville, Florida. Um, my, grandma, my godmother was someone that meant a lot in my life. She taught me three very valuable, important lessons that I still carry with me to this day. One of them was learning how to forgive people, um, knowing that you're going to get hurt a lot in life. Another was loving yourself unconditionally. Um, I had to take that lesson with me throughout my whole entire life as I grow up to be this beautiful woman, beautiful woman that I am. Another one was, you know, hurt people hurt people. Being the fact that, and I've soon to come to learn that lesson dealing with exes and sometimes family and friends. I remember the time when I first told my grand godmother that I was molested. Um, it was a hard day, had went up the street. She used to stay down the street from my dad. So, you know, on a typical day, that's where my days would be spent. I went, you know, I was like, Mom, I want to talk to you. She was like, okay, baby, what's up? I was like, Mom, I was molested when I was younger. Um, she was like, oh, my God, are you okay? So it took me about an hour after I initially told her that portion to really come back and tell her what had happened. Um, finally, I came back like an hour or two later. I was like, Mom, I'm ready to talk about it. She was like, okay, let's, let's sit down. So we sit down, I get to talking. I was like, well, it was midnight. You know, my brother had called me into the room and he asked that I want to play. After that, after I went into the room, he closed the door behind me. And what happened after that is something that drastically changed my life over and over again, um, being the fact that it changed my life mentally, physically, and emotionally. A few a few months down the line, I moved up to Georgia, and we were on a talk, mostly a talk every day basis. And after you know, time went on, conversations and talk slowly started to dim down. Um, it had got to a point where we was at we were still talking, but it was more or so like two calls every week, and so. It was a Tuesday, and that was the last call I made to her. She was last thing I heard from her was she was up in North Carolina visiting my god sister. Weeks had gone by. I got busy, I, and I had thought, and she got busy. It wasn't until a year later after I found out that she's been missing. After that, it was like when I found out, it was just like a whole term off for me you know I lost my confidant my person who I could really open up to time went on she still remains missing to this day um there has been no new updates no sightings of her whatsoever and so you know dealing with that it teaches you how to love who you have in your life while you can to love to learn to learn to love them unconditionally because you never know what may happen or what may go on in their personal life that can cause them to just to be gone the next day.